it's Dr. Karen here and welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And what I want to share with you this week is about heart brain coherence. I've been watching some amazing, amazing uh, videos on Gaia TV, Missing Links with Greg Braden, as well as Mystery teachings with Dr. Teresa Bullard. She is a quantum physicist. <laughs> so what I love about this is because there's so much science now that has not made it into our uh, school books and in college and things like that, but are really validating some of the spiritual work that I've been doing and some of the the hints and the the knowledge coming direct from source that it's it's just amazing to have that validation <laughs> now one of the ways in which uh, i've been teaching lately for my students and clients um, to really help them uh, manifest greater health greater prosperity is really having them connect with the zero point um, I do it through a technique I'll, I, I call stoem. You don't have to do it that technique. It just happens to be a really good technique for people who are clairsentient, meaning they feel a lot in their bodies. Sometimes they feel a lot of other people's stuff in their bodies. So why not turn that, uh, you know, talent, you know, that, that, that empathy, that sensitivity into a superpower to be able to tap into that gift, to be able to go into stillness. So how we do it, with uh with this particular method stillness through observing internal movement is to feel vibration and movement inside our bodies to really be focused on that so i recently did a really cool experiment i've been wanting to get um this uh, app uh, from heart math institute they've done lots of research on brain heart coherence how important that is and why is it important because we know from the science that if we're in a place of coherence which often means we're in a place of peace and appreciation and love and gratitude that that can shift our dna and it shifts our dna into a more positive state so we can then replicate and we can you know create new proteins that help heal our bodies if we're in stress we actually shut down parts of the dna and we're not able to do those wonderful things so our thoughts and feelings affect our dna that's called epigenetics by the way it's not in your school books because <laughs> uh, that's fairly recent but um and then our DNA, interestingly, in studies have been shown that our DNA actually changes the field around us. This field is now a fact. You know, people said, you know, uh, you know, we are one, we are all connected. That's a bunch of hooey. What a bunch of woo woo stuff. Actually, it's not. It's actually in science, but it's in quantum physics. So here's the thing is most people aren't up on quantum physics. I certainly wasn't. So this is just actually it's fact now it's not even woo woo stuff anymore there is a field they have actually documented a field and the field changes and responds to our dna and our dna responds to our perceptions and our emotions so super cool right so i want to show you i've got the ear sensor in right here so this is the uh the heart math app Okay, this is that. You can't really see this because of the, the lighting I have here today. Anyway, but but here is the app. And what you do is you press the button and then you go into your exercise, whether you do the quick coherence technique that they teach you uh, or whether you do stoem. Now, what I found out was I can do stoem and be in high coherence. So which means that I'm not making stuff up. Okay, this actually works. <laughs> Stillness through observing internal movement actually works. And what's really neat is... Um, you can even upload a video. Uh, I know it's hard to see this actually, but I have my little mini free mini. It's a mini clearing video uh, that I have on Light Warrior Network on the Facebook group. And so I uploaded this video and as I'm watching it, so what you do is you turn it on and then uh, as I'm watching it, it'll check your heart rate and it'll see how healthy um, your heart is. And uh, as you watch it for the first minute, um, the first time I watched this, I was in super high coherence. And then I've done experiments afterwards. And these experiments, I've been like eating, talking, doing healing work. And now, of course, I'm experimenting with doing a video while, <laughs> while, while I am measuring myself. So it's really great to have that feedback. And you know, just doing this for three to five minutes a day, whether it be stoem or their quick coherence technique, and you can like measure yourself that you're actually in that space, 
is so incredibly helpful. There's tons of data now on it. You can check out their site, heartmath.org, uh, to look at the research and the data, that it is so helpful for your overall health. Not only that, that uh, there are some really uh, great experiments going on about how we can create more peace in the world, more uh, happiness, prosperity, um, shifts in how we see the world, you know, whether it's politics or whatever else. So it, it behooves us as sensitive souls to actually get into coherence, get into that state of stillness. And speaking of which, um, in the, at the Light Warrior Training Camp in September at the Omega Institute, we will be training uh, multiple things, but one of the things we will be training is how to go into the state of coherence through uh, my technique, which is stillness through observing internal movement, and also balancing the parts of the autonomic nervous system, super important, not just heart and the brain, but also the, your gut brain as well. This is something that I haven't heard of, other people doing all three brains in this way, but we are intending to do this. And those of you with digestive issues, very, very helpful uh, to learn to do this. So we'd love to see you live at the training camp. This is gonna be the first time at Omega having the Light Warrior training camp there. There's lots of things we are going to be uh, training and we're gonna have lots of fun and it's beautiful there. And we're gonna be eating organic food and dancing. Oh, did I say dancing? <laughs> Those of you that are afraid of dancing, like, oh my gosh, I'm not coming. I'm like, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> you know, it's you don't have to be good at dancing. Okay, so so uh, really, really cool, um, really cool things happening uh, this week. Um, lots of positive things. I know some of you have been feeling like, whoa, there's some funky stuff going on, like electronics going wonky, and you know, uh, I think you know, this Mercury retrograde. You know, there's some energies maybe related to that. Uh, but all, but the nice thing about uh, having, you know, the the skill sets and topic and healings, we can always figure out more or less like what is going on. Is it a worldly thing, or is it something related to me, or is it entities, or is it my, you know, angel team trying to get a hold of me, getting my attention through electronics? You know, there's all these different options. And with topic and healing, we can be much more definitive. Like if we're allowed to know the answer, uh, we just have to ask the question, and that's super exciting. So a couple of announcements. Um, uh, number one, of course, I want you to come to the Light Warrior Training Camp in September. Yay. <laughs> um, and uh, number two, uh, on Monday's Light Warrior Radio Show, I have Katie Bray with me. She's an empath, an incredible energy healer, and she's going to talk about a topic that is uh, super interesting, and I can't wait to discuss this with her. And I want you live on the show, too, and you can call in and ask her questions. So it's about, is your soul leaking energy? There's like five major ways your soul can leak energy. This this is going to be so, so amazing a show. So join us live on Monday at 12 noon, and we'll put the link below this video um, so you can join us. And if you can't join us live, that's okay. You can just click the link and uh, get the replay. Uh, last announcement is that on Friday, July 26 at 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, I'm going to be doing a special free master class on how to turn your sensitivity into a superpower. Yes. So how to turn your sensitivity into a superpower. So again, I will put the link below this video. Uh, please feel free because this is a free master class. Please feel free to share it with your friends. You know, those that are highly sensitive, sensitive souls, maybe struggling, have some overwhelm, have a lot of symptoms, uh, fatigue, autoimmunity, uh, adrenal, issues, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, those kinds of symptoms. So please share it with your friends, this link. I want to help the whole world, you know, be able to harness their sensitivity gifts as a superpower so you can have amazing intuition, so you can have amazing healings. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, just set up the, the webinar registration. So register you, register, you know, send the registration link to your friends and uh, I will see you on that 26. And uh, of course you can get on my um, email list as well, uh, just so you can get reminders. Um, and then if you're on YouTube, you can go ahead and hit subscribe uh, so you won't miss another uh, you know, uh, video of the Spiritual Medicine Digest, which we do every week. And those are the announcements for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm looking forward to talking to you next week. Lots of love, bye for now. <laughs>